friends and family. Today is Easter. Happy Easter. Um, I had to work today, so I'm kind of like all over the place. Um, I already have my ham and my crock pot, but here I'm showing you how I make my cornbread dressing. Now, I've tried this recipe numerous of times, and this is the way I find that is that works best for me, and I like the flavors, and everybody does theirs different, and this is just how I do mine. Here I have my cornbread. I had already baked this yesterday. Um, the day after is always best, um, I guess, for the texture of your cornbread. But if you don't have time and you make it the same day, it's it should be okay too. I have some chicken breast that I already made and I shredded. This is um, diced onions, green bell pepper, and celery. Here is my homemade chicken broth that I boiled my um, chicken breast in. I have celery, onion, carrots in there, and I seasoned it with garlic powder, onion powder, and some um, seasoning salt. You'll need one egg. You're gonna need one can of cream of chicken, one can of cream and celery. You can also use can of mushrooms, but I'm, I'm gonna leave it out. And I like to use one pack of the stuffing mix. It has like, um, it's just to give the cornbread dressing some, how do you say that? Um, it just helps it bring it together a little bit. But you can also opt this out as well. Um, I have some poultry seasoning, some sage, um, seasoning salt, onion powder, garlic powder, and some butter. So let's get started. Okay, so here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take two tablespoons of butter and we're gonna saute our um, our vegetables. We're just gonna wait for the butter to melt. Okay, and here I have like um, one small onion, one green bell pepper, and three stalks of the celery. And we're just going to saute these until they get um, soft. My hands are already washed. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna crumble up our cornbread. Get it out of here. Okay, I'm just gonna crumble them up like so. And here's how it looks like, all crumbled. Okay, we're going to throw in our stuffing mix. You could buy any brand you want, either get cornbread stuff mixing or the chicken one. I'm just gonna throw the whole thing in there. We're gonna toss in our chicken. Open up our can of the chicken cream, cream of chicken. I'm going to stir my we're gonna do a cream of celery like if you I'd rather have the cream of celery in there than the cream of a mushroom I don't know why I just do because the cream of celery gives it like so much flavor I feel 
we're not going to put the egg yet until the end. Okay, and these are sauteed to my liking. So I'm going to throw all that in here. We're just going to use the same spoon. And what I'm going to do, because my biggest mistake was adding too much chicken broth, because you don't want it to be too, too moist. That way, um, it, I like mine to be like soggy, but not soggy, if you get what I'm saying. So I'm starting with one cup. Two cups. Okay, and we're going to mix this around. And break this chicken up and get everything mixed incorporated. I mean, to all my Asian friends, if y'all never had no cornbread dressing, I mean, y'all is missing out. That's why it is so good to have friends of all different ethnic backgrounds because, man, me and my friends, we be trading food. <laughs> you cooking this, I'm cooking this, let's trade. But for me, once I eat something and I like it, I like want to learn how to make it. Okay, so you can see I have a little moisture in there, but it's like kind of dry. So we're going to add another cup of chicken broth. Okay. So that's three cups I did. You kind of want it to like like I said be soggy but not too soggy so mine's looking kind of dry still so I'm gonna add in another cup I don't know was that at three or four four cups so we're just gonna add this one slowly that's half I did half okay and see where I'm at from there I'm just gonna add another half. That looks good to me. See, it's kind of like sticking to my my spoon, but it's not like wet, wet, soggy like. That's the type of texture I want. Okay, this is where I am going to season. You know what? I'm just gonna taste a little bit. That's why I say add, add the egg at the end, because you just want to taste a little bit for flavor. Remember, there's already some flavor from the bag of the, um, of the cornbread mixing um, packet that we had. And I already seasoned my chicken broth as well. 
so just very lightly and then here's my sage okay sage goes a long way so you don't need a lot and here's my poultry seasoning So let's taste. It tastes good to me, but I'm just going to add a little bit more poultry. Just a tiny bit. Okay, so my last final taste. And to me, that's perfect. So the consistency here is, it looked nasty, right? But it's not, okay? The consistent consistency you want here is, um, it to be not too too wet and not too too dry so if it can like still come on your spoon and then like come off then it's good but like i said if you never made this before it's gonna take you a couple times to get it right in the way that you like it some people like theirs um extra moist and i mean but I like mine's like in between. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take our nine by 13 and we're gonna butter the pan and then we're gonna add this in there. So take your butter, I always put it on a, on a napkin. I already got my oven to 350 degrees and you're going to want to bake this to 45 to one hour. So the top is crispy. And I also like to add some butter to the top for extra crispiness. just add it to the top your preference if you don't want to do that that's fine I just like to it ain't gonna hurt nobody
and I got my temperature at 350. So set your temperature at 350. Once it's ready, then pop this in, like I said, for 45 minutes to one hour. And here is my ham. I have pineapples, brown sugar. Um, I didn't use any cherries. I had to work this morning, so you guys, I had to put this in a crock pot in the morning. But it's all done already. It's just kept on warm. Okay, guys, I have my mac and cheese up there. And this is an hour, and it's not ready yet. So I'm going to cook it um, for probably 15 to 20 more minutes. But you guys see how the butter has made it crispy. But my middle is not... Um, done yet so we're just gonna cook it a little bit longer okay here's my cornbread dressing oh, we get my spoon we're gonna take a piece of the corner see that I'm gonna give it a taste sorry for all the noise in the background It's good. But I'm just going to let it crisp up just a little bit more. And this is at a, um, an hour and 20 minutes. Okay, and here is the finished product. It looks so good. See how that butter just crisp it up nice and crispy and you're gonna want this to settle for a couple minutes before you start digging in it 